good morning you guys <clears throat> so I am on my way to the gym and just riding in Las Vegas I just want to talk to you a little about why I chose to move to Las Vegas I was living in Cleveland Ohio I have been living there all my life um, I was just looking for a change I just you know was tired of the winters pretty much just felt like I was in a bubble living there so I started watching videos on YouTube um, of people that kind of like actually it started out with me watching um, workout videos and then it was a coincidence that pretty much all the people I watched that had to do with working out or healthy eating healthy had lived out in like California or somewhere on the west coast so you know they would go to the different markets and things like that and then that would that's what made me become interested in um, you know the west coast I love the markets I love that it was always sunshine and then living in Cleveland I felt like every time it was approaching the winter season I would get depression so one day I thought I'm like maybe if I move to the west coast where it's always sunny maybe I'll always be you know chipper and in a better mood and not have to suffer through this depression season so um, I ended up moving to Maryland because my sister lived there so I was like well maybe I'll give Maryland a, a try she was like the winters aren't as bad as Cleveland which they weren't but they wasn't that much better either I mean it still snowed the year that I stayed there it was like so much snow and those people did not know how to drive in the snow like in Cleveland when it snows they are ready they are prepared they are preparing the night before putting down the chemicals on the streets putting down the salt when I got to Maryland since I guess it never snows they were putting sand on the roads which don't get me wrong I mean I know they know what they're doing or whatever and they don't experience a lot of snow but most people were slipping and sliding and couldn't drive and it was just like what took me um, 45 minutes took me about two hours when it snowed because it wasn't that much snow it was probably like an inch of snow but seeing that the people didn't know how to drive it made it seem like it was about six inches of snow so it was frustrating it was cold and I was just like I just don't want to go through this anymore and then living in Maryland, it was just so expensive and so crowded. Not to say that it's not crowded here in Vegas, but with the sunshine and the view of the mountains and everything, it just kind of makes you not have as much road rage. I mean, I'm like, go ahead. Like when I used to find myself cussing people out when I was on the East Coast, now I'm just like, when people are driving crazy or want to get in front of me and everything, I'm like, go ahead just go ahead because I'm enjoying my view so um, that's what kind of made me want to move to Las Vegas so I just kind of like I can't take it anymore and I was just like I'm, I'm out of here so I moved to Vegas I've been here a little almost two years now and I'm getting along pretty well pretty well so it's a really different type of environment um, there's a culture shop um, so in Las Vegas you have North Las Vegas Las Vegas and then you have your two cities Henderson and Summerland um, I live in Las Vegas pretty much the majority of it is this Las Vegas um, the north side is pretty much predominantly, I would say, black and Hispanic. Um, Las Vegas, you have your mixture. Summerland, I would say predominantly white, um, Hispanic, and, you know, your sprinkles of color here and there. 
but overall I would say it's pretty decent I mean the people aren't as friendly they don't really speak to you and then you just have to get used to different things like people don't like to say excuse me here um, a lot of the Asian people and don't get me wrong I'm not trying to like point people out and stuff it's just things that I noticed since I've been here um, you know they just kind of like you know even if they're really they're all up on you they still don't say excuse me they just kind of like do what they're going to do I don't know if that's just something that they um, just do in their culture I don't know but I did hear the one lady Mia Moore who spoke about she lives in Korea and she was saying like the Asian people like when she gets on the sub train or whatever she was like they'll just push you out the way <sighs> don't put your hands on me now not saying that, excuse me and putting your hands on me is two different things so let's be clear but anyway um I also like it out here because of the food the diversity in the food I mean I like I love going to the markets like I say that was like one one of the things that kind of like got me out here to the west coast too I mean you just see so many different things that I never saw like when I was in Cleveland um, I guess I could have went down to like the Asian markets and things like that but I don't think there was like a Filipino market there um, there's a lot of Filipino food out here there's a lot of Asian food Chinatown is like the bomb out here um, there's Ethiopian Jamaican you have everything out here so um, it's really good to come out here if you you know if you're a foodie they also tend to have like a lot of different festivals the Greek festival Italian festival and things like that um, another reason another thing I like about Vegas is the gym oh my god like LVAC some people don't like it but I love it there's about eight of them all around Vegas um, um, they're open 24 hours a day most of them and they're huge it's everything you ever want in there from smoothie bar to um, car wash you can even get your freaking car wash while you're in the gym like that's just that's just good so I'm headed to the gym right now and I'm gonna tell you more stuff about what I like about Vegas um, in my next video but if you have any questions and things you want to know about Vegas like on the strip living off the strip um, if you're planning on moving out here um, I'm going to talk to you more about me driving to Vegas because I did do the drive from the East Coast to the West Coast. So that was something huge for me. Um, it was also on my bucket list. So I can tell you, you know, things to do and to watch out for if you want to do that. And, you know, to try to encourage you to not be scared to do it if it's something that you really want to do. So um, be sure if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I want to start doing more videos about that I do um, do a lot of selling on eBay like I did when I was in Cleveland and Maryland so I'm also going to be doing more videos about that there's that's another thing I like about Vegas there's a lot of thrift stores and pawn shops and things like that out here so I mean it's a lot of opportunity it's 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 a lot of opportunity out here in Vegas they're steadily building up in real estate so um, whatever you want to um, know more about just put it in the comments below I will definitely try to answer those questions for you and like I said be sure to like this video if you think it helped you or if you think it could help someone else be also sure to um, share it for me okay all right talk to you guys later bye